Wanted to make a quick video tonight to offer a big thanks and to just cover a couple quick topics. First of those topics is PID controllers. Now, a PID controller, if you're not aware, is basically, in our context, a temperature control for a lead melting pot for casting bullets. For instance, this Lee Pro 420 pot is a great little pot for melting lead to cast bullets with, but maintaining a constant temperature of that lead can be a bit of a challenge. And about the best way to do that is with a PID controller. Now Johnny's Reloading Bench has posted several great videos on building a PID controller for this pot and putting it together. But just a few days ago, a man named Chris Biblis built and posted a great video along with a set of instructions on Instructables on building a PID controller for the Lee Pro 420. Uh, that's integrated into this back case here. It's integral to the lead melting pot. He's got it set up so there's an LCD uh, display right here on the top. Everything's integrated right into this case and it's a really slick setup. I'll post a link to his channel at the end of this video and in the description of this video. You really need to check it out. Speaking of PIDs, I really need to offer a huge thanks to Thorzak777. Thorzak sent me this temperature controller so that I can build my own PID. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, right there across the top. Temperature controller. Uh, that piece will be instrumental in building my own PID controller. If you remember a video I posted about three weeks ago where I talked about inspecting our bullets, I showed some bullets that I had cast for my hollow point project that had demonstrated some issues that were undoubtedly related to the heat not being controlled. That lack of consistent heat can definitely cause issues. And when Thorzak saw that video, he hooked me up and sent me this controller. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate this uh, delivery I got in the mail. I will probably build this to be something a little closer to what Johnny's Reloading Bench had demonstrated versus what uh, Chris Biblis just demonstrated. Mostly because I'm considering acquiring a, another pot or two. And having a PID that's not integral to this pot will allow me to use one PID controller for multiple pots. I'll just have to unhook the thermocouple from one and uh, hook it into the next pot. And finally, speaking of deliveries, I've been a bit delayed in getting to the range lately to shoot the, uh, start shooting the hollow point bullets into the gel. The main reason is that my wife is due any day now. For those that are wondering... Uh, let's see, I think I've got... Hey, that'll work. It's a boy. Due to this new freeloader coming into the house, the video upload is going to be a little sporadic here in the near future, but I will get out to the range soon and uh, start shooting these hollow points into the gel just as soon as I can. Thanks again to Thorzax. Thanks again to Chris Biblis for the great design with the new PID controller. Thank you all for your patience. Thanks for watching, and God bless.